Okay, uh, Pradyut, let's start with the big question. Are you in this election as kingmaker, to be king, or simply to be a vote cutter? What is the role of the Tipra Mota in this election? I don't think that in a democracy it's uh, good to use words like king and kingmaker. I think kings are made by God and uh, kingmakers are also appointed by God. I think in this election we are basically uh, trying to prove a point that the indigenous people of Tripura who are actually the original inhabitants of the land need their rights to be restored. And uh, it's our view. It is, uh, I, this election is not being fought from the prism of what BJP wants or what Congress wants or the Communist wants. It's from what the tribals want and that's what we are fighting. No, for. no, but tribals are what? 35% of, uh, of Tripura's population, more than one in every three is a tribal. Uh, you're calling for, as per your manifesto, for a permanent constitutional solution for the indigenous people of Tripura. Now, I want to get a straight answer. Are you calling for a separate state within a state? Are you calling under Article 2 and 3 of the Constitution, do you want a separate state within Tripura? I have a point of view. Which has, been, uh, uh, which has been over the years, that we should have a separate state under Article 2 and 3. We are also open to an idea of a solution, a constitutional solution. But that solution has to be given to us in writing so that we can go and show to the people if that is enough or not. The fact is that we want to have a constitutional solution and a dialogue with respective players, whether it's in the opposition or in the government, to bring in a one-time solution. So what's the, this one-time solution? The, You've got an autonomous to, to council the, at the, the moment. To the initial question that you said that we are 35 percent, uh, please mark my words, Rajdeep. If things don't improve, we'll become 15 to 20 percent in the next 10 years. What you're seeing is that the tribals actually have no protection. You've actually created uh, statutes, but you've actually not empowered them. You've actually made laws, but you have made it unimplementable. So what we are asking for is legislative powers with powers to enforce these laws that we make. Independence and autonomy in making these laws and implementing them, which hasn't happened. You've got an autonomous council at the moment, which uh, in fact the, the Tipra Mota did very well in two, two years ago. You control it. That's clearly not enough. You want more, right? The autonomous council, all parties, including the BJP, have said that they need to give more to empower the autonomous council. Why is it so? What has prevented the Communist Party, which says today, that we need to empower the Autonomous Council more. They were in power for 25 years. The Congress was in power for 15 years before that. The BJP has been in power, but they are saying nothing. So what, they have all agreed after Tipra Motha has come mm -hmm. that more needs to be done. My point is, why did it take Tipra Motha to come to power for all of them to come and agree that not enough was done for the Autonomous, autonomous Council? I'll tell you why, Pradyut. A couple of fears. One is that if your demand is acceded to, then tomorrow there will be demands across the country. There will be a demand in North Bengal, there will be a demand from the Kar uh, Karbi Anglong. Across the country people will say, we want a state within a state. It will open up the floodgates. Pandora's the box. Yes. Yeah. It will open so up. Then, the then make a law in the parliament mm -hmm. that the people of Tripura or the people of Gorkhaland or Bundelkhan uh, or Harit Pradesh uh, have no right to ask for a separate state or a separate constitutional solution. If you make it a law, then scrap that out of the parliament and we'll keep quiet. But as long as the constitution of India gives us that provision to demand something which is very much within our rights, why should we uh, keep quiet? But what's the geographical boundary? Have you thought about the geographical boundary of this the, state? The, the council area plus the 36 villages which are left out of it, which are inhabited by the indigenous people at some point have been left out. That's it. Because the fear is it could... You, you there know, is no it, fear. It, it could move into other states. You, could, you know, the fear is simply this. We are not once, once the government of India accepts the demand of your demand for, what do you call it, greater uh, Tripla, land. Tripla land, others will also ask You can for change the name, call it Modi land. I have no problem. Sardar Patel land. I have no problem. My point is, you are talking to NSCN, which is asking for greater Nagaland, which is asking for sovereignty, which is asking for a separate constitution, which is asking uh, for a separate flag. Yet you were talking to the Hurriyat, which were against the basic ideology of BJP of 370. You were talking to PDP. But today, you are not going to talk to the tribals of Tripura because they don't suit your larger national narrative. I think that is very wrong.
this is a state which is usually voted one way or the other. Yeah. Left, now the BJP. How do you see this all playing out? Are you saying that the politics now is more fragmented and therefore these 20 tribal seats will decide which way Tripura goes this time? No, I think there's more than 20 tribal seats. There are almost 28 seats where... You're contesting 42. 42. The fact is that I think uh, there is a bit of uh, despondency amongst the people of Tripura across all communities because the left ruled for 25 years mm -hmm. and the BGP came with a sense of promises which they have not been able to deliver. They've changed the chief minister within four and a half years and uh, the expectations which are so high have actually fallen flat. So I think that has led to a, a division of opinion and our party has not compromised. We've stuck to our demand and we've stuck to our cause from the very, big, uh, from the very beginning. That's why I like to call our party more of a movement than a political party. Prajit, in all of this, there's the question that at the end of the day, uh, if you don't win this election, uh, what happens next? If you're not in that position, if the BJP proves itself, they've got their own uh, tribal partner in the IPFT. Yeah. Uh, and the IPFT has been their partner for the last few years and eventually tied up with them. Uh, so if they were to win, where does that leave you? Is this a make or break election for you or you will continue with this movement as your This calling? is a make and break movement for all of us, the entire community, because there will be delimitation in 2025, 26. Mm -hmm. And then the real uh, uh, irony will be seen. All those parties which are making short term uh, sacrifices or compromises for uh, individual gains will realize that if we do not unite right now mm -hmm. and speak in one voice, for the protection of the land, for the protection of our forests, for the protection of our resources and our future, not only economic but political, economic, social and cultural rights, we will have a huge crisis in hand. 